Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System and the word of the day is standstill. As in, what do you do when you're at a standstill? So we're days away from Beltane, also known as May Day, and we're still in the midst of a Mercury retrograde. And Mercury retrograde generally means that business does not go on as usual. And a lot of times it leaves us spinning our wheels and often in a standstill where something, we may have a sense of what it is that we want to do, but we don't necessarily know how to proceed. Or even if we know how to proceed, we're not necessarily ready to proceed. And particularly when we're coming up against things where we don't really know exactly what's going on, we don't exactly understand why we're feeling the way we're feeling or what what quite to do about it, and we are at either an emotional or a physical or a mental standstill, it can be challenging to be like, okay, so what do I do? And what I have noticed is that one of the ways to work through being in a standstill is to look at where the resistance is. What is the thing that I'm avoiding? What is the thing that I least want to deal with, that I least want to do, that like if I, if I was thinking about sort of the list of things in my life, usually more about the stuff that's more sort of emotional, spiritual, kind of the stuff that's about really putting my house in order then what's the thing that I'd rather just go back to bed, pull the covers up over my head, put my fingers in my ears, and just go, la, 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 I can't hear you. I don't want to deal with it. Not my idea of fun. And what I would say is that the way through a standstill is to surrender to the avoidance, is to actually acknowledge the resistance and the part of us that does not want to do something and to go and do what is called eat that frog and start there because so much emotional energy and mental energy often goes into our avoidance of the things that we think we don't want to deal with, that we think are going to be intense, that we think are going to be scary. And when we just acknowledge it and take some time to work beyond it, that can often open up the standstill. That can often give us the energy that we need to be able to move forward. And a little trick that I'll offer is sometimes the key to breaking through that resistance and that avoidance is even just by acknowledging that we don't want to do it. So I'm going to make a plug for tapping in this particular case because I think that it can be really helpful even though I don't want to do this and you name what it is that you don't want to do, even though there's a part of me that's totally avoiding dealing with this. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. This thing I'm avoiding, this thing I'm avoiding, this thing I'm avoiding. And then just allowing that to be okay and then seeing what it would be like to actually not avoid it, to deal with it, and then watch how energy opens up again and takes us out of a standstill. So my question to you right now is, are you in a standstill? And if you are, is there something that you're avoiding? Is there something that you just don't really want to deal with? Is there something that you'd rather just not have to look at? And if that is the case, what would it be like to go there? What would it be like to address it? What, how would you go about addressing it? And could you just start by acknowledging the resistance to it and see where that takes you? So, I'd love to hear what you have to say about all of this. Please leave a comment below. And until next word of the day, I'm wishing you peace, I'm wishing you ease, and the willingness to look at the stuff that you are avoiding. And in the meantime, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jennifer Moore, Modern Medicine Lady, and I will be ever so grateful for your help to get this word out into the world. So please like this video, share it, and pass it along to other people who would find it useful. Thank you so much, and until tomorrow, peace.